So, on this, on this video or webinar, as you prefer to call it, we are going to discuss something, let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, a kind of point of view or philosophical issue. It is a kind of uh, idea that I have developed uh, since, uh, let's say, I work, as I was working in the mathematics and I was observing how we say, uh, things go. So I'm trying to convince you from argumentation that uh, that uh, biomathematics is already inside the inside medicine. So the let's say any new development is a matter of improvement. It's not a matter of more to. So the the importance of biomathematics is not questionable anymore, I believe. So I think uh, the question now is how far you can go and uh, how you can go. So the kind of point that you can achieve. You can see that mathematics uh, evolves all the time. So if you don't still have a mathematical model for a specific situation, which you have a lot of them, it's just a matter of time until we develop it. So the only way that you can develop it by 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 working hard, by trying, by doing our best. There is no achievement without sacrifice. In computer science, which is a mixture between computer science in the mathematics and medicine, we have uh, an area called the it's called the um, artificial neural networks. So artificial neural network are a set of uh, of uh, of uh, techniques, a set of ideas that try to mimic the brain. So as you know, how, how your brain more or less work. Let's suppose that you can represent your brain by a box, by a system, which are composed of neuron. The neuron are connected to each other. Then uh, when you uh, when you have a thought, several neuron are activated simultaneously. That makes up a neural network, which is the way we think. Our brain can be divided into two kind of uh, two kind of working. One is which you can say that is uh, let's say the day by day is the hard work of learning. Such as if I want to teach you how to do a job or something, I give you several examples. Such as play the guitar, I give you several songs that you learn how to play. You try it several times, compare it until you get a success. So after that. You, you no longer need this input, you have learned, so that's called generalization, so generalize. How you learn to be a doctor? You learn how to be a doctor by going to school, about uh, eight years of school, or even, let's say, even more. You learn uh, from the big guys, from the big heads, from the, from the female boss, that the kind of intern, they learn from the, from the senior, from the, from, the, from the doctor that are in the door, you know, accept. So they learn from example, the beginning is very difficult, so they learn what to do and what, to do, what not to do. So after they become a very experienced doctor, they start to learn as well from the day by day experience. So they have a case of good example and a case of bad example. And then they use, yeah, that's the magic of our brain. We use this case here that you have trained in order to create new ideas. So here is where the brain is magic. So the new ideas that we that we have come from come from let's say from come from from an example that, that you had that succeed and example that failed. So from from that set of examples that you succeed in the day by day by day by day base or even on the on our on our time of training we are able to create a new knowledge. So that's how the brain works. The brain works by learning, by learning on, on your mistake, and also, but not you do not need necessarily to make a mistake to learn. I mean, you can you can do a mistake in a specific area, and by using the power of your brain, we are able to create new situation in which you do it right without mistake. It's called generalization. That's a very powerful ability of 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 our brain. So. 
basically this uh, this area of the artificial network try to mimic that so mathematically how it's done it's done very simply i mean, I mean the simplest the simplest uh, approach that was developed in the in the in the forest when the computer was the computer was gaining his that was again his time was developed by I don't remember the name except was I think was Mac Mac Lounge. I don't remember the name exactly. And I think it was Pierre Mac Lounge, I don't remember the name exactly. You can find a new tool uh, the, 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 the explanation of his life. So basically he at the time he was developed a kind of a system which was just one just one neuron. This neuron is was is it was represented by two kind of the two, uh, two, two mathematical function. One was a summation that you had a kind of summation here. Then you have an input which you, which is a vector represented by a, a by a, the sensor of the system so the of the environment which is a vector composed of of numbers. And each each each, each component of vector would be an input. Then the summation was 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 sent to what's called activation function. The activation function is a function that he, that can that have a response. Then the first function was composed of just uh, uh, one and zero. So there's a threshold here that the function the function we release one or we release zero. So that was the story. So that that system you uh, was able to magically. I have an example on my YouTube channel. You can see. Uh, this function is able to magically separate boundary, such as we have a uh, system that can be simplified as a, a, a cycle and the and the and the x, such as we simplify a patient between sick and not sick. So you have some kind of an input to the system, and the system is able to classify between sick and not sick. This this simple this simple system has amazingly uh, working a lot. I mean, it was incredible how this very, let's say, stupid system was able, and still able to do a lot of job. So that I have seen example of application of the of the application of artificial neural network to medicine, in which they apply this kind of system to classify, for example, uh, uh, leuke uh, leukemia. Leukemia is a is a is a is a Leukemia. I'm not so sure about the, how to write, but leukemia, leukemia, leukemia is a is a is a condition in which you your 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 red blood cells are uh, are deformed. They are not they are unable to carry oxygen. So they have instead of have the round round shape, they are going to have some kind of shape like this. So they are unable to carry the oxygen. That's a problem that is very very bad. So patient by by counting the number of of the form the form and the shape you can find the patient if you have a leukemia or not or have a bad case or not so this kind of vegetable system has a very big application medicine so that's based on the capacity of learning in mathematics uh, let's say mathematics we have uh, basically uh, two kind of model Those model here, the people like to call it. Uh, people like to call it. Uh, uh, people like to call it. Black box. Black box. Models is one. People like to call it. White box. Models. Uh, which are the difference? The difference is very simple. In black, as the name say, everything is dark. You don't know what cell to go on. No. In the brain, it's true. We 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 don't know as a as a as a neuroscientist, as a doctor, or as a biologist, how the brain works the way it works. Consciousness, consciousness, consciousness is a very intriguing idea. We know that the the, the brain is composed of neuron. Does neuron they have some kind of termination. They carry uh, electric current here inside the neuron. Then they they release the neurotransmitter. We know that from the EMA, from the from ele electromagnetic image resonance image, we know that the brain has activation several point because of, of as a output of several function. 
we know all that but we don't know exactly how it works if you, if you we knew we could make mathematical model but you can't all this mathematical model that I have shown before I mean I have presented the simplest version before they are very simple the one that I knew nowadays they are more complicated but they are still very simple compared to the brain so we have a lot to learn so black box means that you don't know what is going on black box mode in general they exist to solve problems such as artificial networks applied a lot in engineering to solve complex problems problems that, you, problem that you, uh, we do not have a mathematical mode so in biology the majority of the problem they are black box so what the one of the biggest difference between between biology medicine and the similar era of research and, and physics is that the majority of the modern physics they are white box because you, you have a simple simple system to understand I mean they are complex in size but simpler uh, in a, in term of view of understand for example you can understand the in physics you can understand how a, how a bar, such as you have here a bar that you, you want to apply a force here and here. How people understand that? They, they understand that by the parts. So if they know how to work a small bar in the laboratory, they know how it will going to work, for example, in a big bridge. In a big bridge, you do not, you do not can it because it's very big. But if you, if you take a sample, you can do it. However, by all, it's not necessarily true. If you know how a, a piece of tissue work, that's called in general, people like to call it in biology, um, in in vitro, in which they they make experiment in laboratory. When they put they, they try to understand what's called in vivo, which is in a living system. The system is get a little bit more complicated. Some surprise always appear, and this, it 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 happens a lot. So the the majority of the box in the biology will be black box somehow. The white box model, which in, in which you know the details or exactly what's going on, they they are what's called toy model. Toy model is a model that he say, work just in theory i mean they are based on first principle they are based on ideas that can be confirmed by experiment but they unfortunately they cannot be applied in, in, in real case that's one of the big problem so the majority of the problem in that the artificial intelligence they are black box i mean the artificial neural network first system and the evolutionary strategy all of them they are black box they are designed to solve problem not to be understood so and so they, 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 this model here, they start from mathematics. This model here, they start some kind of metaphor, such as artificial network is based on the way the brain works. So we don't know how the brain works, but know what the brain does. So you know the brain learn. So artificial network learn. You know the brain is divided in small pieces called neurons. So artificial network are based on neurons as well. The neuron a very simple mathematical model, but they are they 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 they, they are a sample of a, of mathematical model for neuron. Of course, neuroscience and artificial intelligence they are very connected because artificial intelligence try to build model for neuron and for live for intelligent system and the neuroscience for it is trying to understand how that stuff work so it's more than natural that he that you have you have this, the interplay between artificial network and neuroscience it's quite common to happen but the models for neuroscience tend to be more complicated because they want to understand exactly what's going on so they're trying to get closer from a white box on the other hand from artificial intelligence they, they they, they are not so interested in to understand the details. So, uh, so basically, so, so that's exactly what the, uh, I hope that was enough to understand. So, the next step is, is try to convince you about that. So, so uh, you, 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 you have seen that the artificial intelligence is based on learning, in the docs, based on learning. So, if you uh, if you can build system that is able to learn as well, so that is certainly a, a place in which uh, models can be applied. So, of course, the model artificial network it never it never be totally reliable. Artificial intelligence cannot be completely reliable. That human has a kind of ability 
that uh, maybe in the future when you have better, better mathematical model you can uh, we can uh, can overcome but for now the best you can do is to uh, to put to support so they actually I think the problem is now is that this kind of system can serve to to let's say to support on the on the on the understand such as if you if you have uh, if you have uh, a model a model that is for example a model which is which is with a model which is a model which is uh, let's say uh, which is which is white box in which you, you want to stand the system until a point then you can integrate that mode with uh, with a black box with artificial intelligence so so that is one of the the research that i i would like to care in the, in the future and have trying to make some work in that direction the idea is that that uh, maybe there is a, a point of, the, of integration it, it is somehow it already happened for for them in a in a in a, in a separate way such as people used to apply, for example, artificial intelligence to classify image. Uh, one case, for example, I was I was hearing about a research in which in which people can see, like, say, image of of your of your brain, like that this kind of image in your brain that you can get from computer, and then and then they can guess what you are thinking of. So what you are you are like thinking you know, in your brain so maybe that is for uh, i have not get the detail of the research but that's possible more or less because if you train artificial intelligence to 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 guess that to guess this kind of pattern of image it will be able to guess in the future what they're thinking of so let's say the the applicability of the of the, of the artificial intelligence in, in the in medicine is very is very let's say it's very only present because artificial intelligence is based on a human brain it's based on the way the human think so the question is how is how we, uh, we can use all the kind of models well in, in an integration way so the point that I, I, I was trying to convince you that I hope that I'll be able to do to do it shortly is that uh, a doctor already thinking like a biomathematician. So you, you you have seen that there are some kinds of artificial intelligence systems that they, that they appear mathematical. So if they are mathematical, and they are based on the step by step. For example, how uh, how uh, we we uh, uh, we make simulator. For example, if you have here a, a system to simulate. Let's suppose you have here a system to make a simulation. So the system, uh, how you do a simulation, you, you put a kind of an input, which be a, a, a scenario. Then you have output, which is the output of, of, of your simulation. So if you if you think it's correct, this output will be the same that it would, would be in your real system. But uh, so the uh, doctor will be the same. A doctor will uh, 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 will guess. I mean, he will think like if I give it uh, drug number X plus drug number y i i'll get this output such as i'll get the uh, decrease in the, in the in the cancer cells so most of the case this kind of decision is not a decision that you can find in the book i mean that decision that they, they need to think about it it, it, it comes with a mistake. There's a, uh, doctors make mistakes of course all the time as well but much of the case they do it right so but because because they have a system of, of consequence they know that the drug x are going to interact with drug y and are going to create a kind of condition because they have done that before but in some stud they are trying to get an laboratory how to make this kind of control for more than one drug mathematically it's a little bit very difficult but they are trying to do it so the way the 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 doc take decision it's a it's a it's a brain simulation the way that that a a a, a computer program a biomathematical based program will be will be will take decisions based on computer so that's the only difference the advantage of 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 this one that in this one you can put much more variable you have a supercomputer computer very powerful and the 
you can't uh, hear you can't uh, there is a high prob here uh, the brain you know that the brain has a high probability to be interfered by the environment such as emotion uh, if you are like you are in trouble with your family computer does not have this drawback i mean they can take decision so maybe the uh, the future in my, in my in my point of view is that you have the, the input for the two system so you have the input for the for the two system and you can compare for example the, the the conclusion of the doctor with the conclusion of the computer and they can and they can like integrate these two possibility and see which is right so that's that's more or less what done artificial talks called the I don't remember the name uh, completely but I think it's called the commit machine this commit machine so basically they train several artificial to work and, and gather them in a, in, a, in a summation in order to to guess the result. So here you have a, a computer-based model integrated with a, with a brain, with experience. So people may, may say that it, uh, it's, it's, it's not good, but in some sense it's not so bad because you can even let the doctor to think about what's really matter. So just to, to conclude, you know that the, that the mathematical model, the medicine, they are much more complicated because the, the the variability of the biological system is much more complex compared to to all that matter. So say that he, the the theory of Newton in the in the in any kind of the theory that was in the, uh, that was applied later, they are not uh, sufficient uh, for doing a good a good mathematical model. But they can be very useful, as was said once. I don't remember who said that, but it was I think it was a no, no, the Nobel Prize. Not quite sure. He said that every mathematical model, every model, uh, are wrong, but some of them are useful. So that's more or less like this. So the question is: is what to expect from a model, and the, to know the limitation of the model.